What's up everyone? Welcome one and all to my first unboxing from this channel. Um, yes, you know me for my stop motions. Well, I just wanted to give unboxing a try and give this channel some fresh and new content. This came in the mail today. It's not Transformers. This time it's from a different franchise, one that I also love with all my heart. And this character, she's one of the best fighters in the Avengers. She's got a very unique skill set and she's got red in her ledger and she liked to wipe it out. I give you the Marvel Legends Black Widow from the Black Widow movie. I already got into Marvel Legends way back before. I started collecting it after I watched Captain Marvel and she was the first character to have in my collection. And I thought about adding some more until Studio Series became announced because I thought that Transformers wouldn't have any more toys for your movies because The Last Night was the last installment. This is my first Marvel Legends in a while. And I'm really happy because Black Widow is one of my favorite characters from the Marvel franchise. A quick look at the packaging. You have Black Widow right there. You got spot varnish of the Black Widow symbol. On the side, you got a very nice artwork for Black Widow. Same here. On the back, another beautiful artwork of Black Widow. And you can also see the other characters available in this wave. And we got a small bio. Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. Which is pretty much what she's gonna do in the movie. So without further ado, let's get this open. Whoa. This is really good. It's better than I've ever hoped. Having her in the package doesn't do her justice. Whoa. She's really stiff. The joints are really stiff and I like that because I don't like figures that are very flimsy and loose. Can't get them in nice poses. Look at that head sculpt. Hasbro really nailed it with their face print technology. She really has the likeness of Scarlett Johansson. Look at her costume. Really nice. I like the gold bracelets or stingers as they call, call it. And then she has this backpack. For the accessories, we have her batons. We have two more pairs of her closed fists. Lastly, we have her pistols that we normally see her use throughout the movies. And she has her trigger holding hands. Can equip her with her pistols. Right there. If you don't want her holding her pistols, you can put it in these holsters. Which is a pretty nice touch. Because there are some holsters with molded in guns and that sucks. But I'm glad that you can use this to store actual guns. Then we have her batons.
you can store these in her backpack. I love how there is this amount of storage for each pair of weapons. Gives it that realistic touch. For the articulation, the head can move down that far, can move up until the hair hits the backpack. Arms go in and out, full 360 about more than 90 degrees and her trigger holding hand can go up and down while the fist can go in and out her diaphragm joint she can go down that far move up back that far side to side good range of motion there the leg can go only about up that much which is a shame especially because she's really flexible especially when she fights we got nice knee bend there Got the heel to butt, the ankles. It's more of a side to side than an ankle rocker and can go up and down. For size comparison, here we have Black Widow and Captain Marvel. And as you can see, Captain Marvel stands taller just because of her mohawk. But I'm pretty sure with the unmasked head, they're gonna be roughly about the same height. Lastly, here we have Captain America and Iron Man. And as you can see, she is short as she should be, like in the movies. I really like how even with the Marvel Legends outside of the Transformers toys, there's also consistency in size based from their appearance in the movie and I really like love that so the rating I would give this figure out of 10 is an 8 um, my main takeaway is because the ankle rocker joints are not really ankle rockers they're more a side to side movements or joints and lastly it's the legs they don't come up that high for her to do high kicks like she does in the film. She is a character that does a lot of stunts and all that. She's very flexible, agile, so it's a shame that she doesn't get that kind of articulation for her legs. And that concludes today's unboxing. Please, if you enjoyed, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys give this channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This is The Red Knight. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.